Hey all, welcome to the next filter class. I'm preparing to go to Hawaii for a 25th anniversary vacation, the biggest vacation I've ever taken. And so when I was looking through to choose the next filter that we would utilize, the Ocean Ripple one just popped right out at me and said, this is what you need to do next. <laughs> Now, as with many of these filters, I'm finding them not too exciting or too different. This one um, works very much like the glass filter. And here in my layout, I've actually um, simply uh, used them on these two areas in my layout just to create um, something unique and different, kind of a uh, layover. Um, I applied the filter and then I used the screen blending mode. Of course, I went through every blending mode more than once um, to choose one that I liked. I changed and played with the opacity. Um, you know, the same thing goes with most of these filters in that um, it's just a bunch of playing until you get something that you think that you can work with. It's something that's stretching your imagination and making you think outside the box. And I kind of like what I did with um, this here. Um, I am going to go ahead and maybe turn off some of this or all of it. Here's this background photo that I have and um, we can go ahead and duplicate that so we have something to play with. So we can go and look at this filter. Uh, the filter is found under the distort menu and it is Ocean Ripple and it does bring up the filter gallery and this is a good thing because what I found in working with this filter is that um, a little bit at a time over and over goes a long way um, actually works a lot better so here the last settings I use these are not the default settings but you can see here kind of what, um, let me zoom in a little bit more maybe, what this filter does. It, it does work very similar to the glass filter and um, kind of gives a really cool painterly effect almost. If I drop down just randomly the magnitude and the ripple size you can see what happens with it here and now with this one um, rather than uh, in many of the others you would have to go to uh, the filter I can't do it now because I have this up and then just run it again and again and again and again the first option here to run to repeat running the filter over and over but if it pops up in the filter gallery like this as um, was shown in my first introduction video that you can run and actually see the results right from this gallery to run one over and over and so just simply uh, well, I think just hit the new, there it is. I just hit this um, new effect layer and it repeated the same one again. And so you can see what it looks like automatically um, before you choose to do it. And there's less hitting of the back button going on here. So um, I just keep hitting this button and running it with the lower effects over and over. And I can see what effects I got and then if I don't like something that has happened I can just turn off the eye um, or I can go in here maybe and maybe on this one I'll up it you know maybe I like the more well that's too glassy but you can uh, run it multiple times right from the gallery and see exactly what your results might be and I think it turned out be pretty cool. 
Um, remember, you can do things such as use your layer style or your your blending modes. I'm sorry, not layer styles, blending modes, and um, the opacity. Uh, you can do other things. Um, we've learned lots of things. Try to pull back from old lessons, um, things that we've done to uh, these to create something unique with them. Um, you can hit control I on the keyboard. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. <laughs> and um, maybe try a blending mode to it. Ooh, that's uh, there. Um, no, but it might be something. Um, that one happens to be hard light. Uh, it might be something really cool that you find. Um, so uh, now that one's pretty cool. That one's a color dodge. So you're, it's going to depend on your image and your colors, and you know what hits you is wow, I can work with that. That looks really cool, and uh, make your make something unique in your layout uh, with it. And so that's about all there is to this. And I hope that my layout has inspired you a little bit. Um, giving you a little bit of ideas of how you can just take a small portion of your layout. Oh, what have I got going on here? Something extra on top there. Um, to uh, add just a little bit of emphasis um, from one of your photos. And uh, I might make this, I think, into a template too. Uh, because I made these little frames with the um, custom drop shadows all myself and I thought it turned out pretty cool so I think I might make a template have fun and I look forward to seeing um, your creativity it might inspire me and I'm hoping it does bye